Well, good morning, friends on the YouTubes. It's Saturday sometime in July. Um, 17th. We have a little bit of spare time today in between hay jobs. So we have a pile of pine logs that we have harvested from our woods. There's actually a video of it way back in the wintertime, deep snow. These are the same logs. Oh, is this from Eastfield? Yes. And we cut, Wilson and I cut through some of them two months ago. And then we had to quit for other things and we're trying to, we're gonna, we're hoping to cut through the rest of the pile today, 11 more logs. Huh? We're down to the real small crooked tops of the trees. So our job here is cutting two by fours for a shed we would like to build sometime to house some of the stuff that's in the shop right now. We'd like to get the shop cleaned out so we could actually use it as a shop. So, um, but lately I noticed there were some comments on our YouTube channel, people asking for another sawmill video and Hank's not working the day, he didn't have anything to do, so. We'll make a sawmill video such as it is. It's not going to be terribly interesting because we don't have monster logs to cut through and make manly lumber. But we may actually be past the point of making two by fours. We just cut a four by four out of a crooked top, and we'll see what we can do with this one. It may be another four by four. We're working with twelve foot lengths. So, all right, Wilson, let's see what we can make out of this one. The sawmill, as you can see, is a Wood Miser LT15, new to this farm two years ago, I believe. And uh, it is. I can proudly say I have not purchased a stick of lumber from Menards in at least two years, and we've built a lot of stuff, so. It has paid off for us. We've cut quite a bit of lumber for other people as well. Hope to do more. But uh, time's a limiting factor when you're running a dairy farm the old way that we do. There's just a lot of your time involved in doing that. So wood has to be cut in the spare time. At this end we have six inches. Let's see how long we got. Yeah, 12.6, so I can't, can't cut that little bit off and have less than 12 foot. But, you know what, Wilson, maybe we should just make some 8 foot lumber. Nope, I think I'm going to try to get a 4x4 four four out of this. I could use some 12 foot 4x4s four for, for the corner of this place. There we go, there we go. On the back side of this wheel there are increments, measurements, and uh, one half of a turn drops my blade one inch. One full turn drops it two inches, so on and so forth. So it's really handy, and it is very accurate, so. I'm going into this log at eight inches. We'll see what we can make it look like.
And of course, sawmill trucks, the truck that barely runs, so. I'm surprised it still moves this load of lumber. <laughs> What do you do with all the junk stuff? Uh, you know what? Our, sla our slab would, uh... Yep. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna put them on those. That. Gotcha. And then use it for, like, kindling wood and stuff? Yeah. Saw bucks. Yes, our saw bucks.
number one by fours, two two by fours. How you off salt now? That's the milkman. Hey, go film the milkman. Uh. Hey, chocolate milk. You need to get that Prairie Farms chocolate milk out of the back of the trailer on camera. Huh? Don't know why I'm making it so neat because I'm gonna unstack them and put them on the sticker pile when I'm done, but it just makes me feel good.
Oops. I hit the back window. I'm just skinning the bark off of these boards so they will dry out as evenly as possible. More than likely, when they're dry and we find a specific use for them, we will uh, either recut them to boards, probably one by fours, or find some artsy fartsy way to use them live edge as they are if we recut them it would either be in the mill or uh, just cut straight edges on them with the circular saw and table saw what some of you may not know about how the children get paid at this farm is that Henry behind the camera there gets all of the revenue that comes off of the YouTube channel because he does all of the work and film making and photography is his passion. Wilson grows sweet corn like you see on the roof of that truck and he sells that. Actually dad does a lot of the work for Wilson sweet corn but Wilson gets all of the money. Wilson which I was about to say also gets a percentage of all the sawmill work we do for other people who pay us to cut wood because Wilson is my right hand man at the sawmill George doesn't have a fixed job or money making venture here on the farm but I funnel jobs to him every now and then that his last job that we funneled to him was one of the worst jobs here on the farm and that's washing all the dust and fly dirt off of the pipeline periodically because you know we are a grade A dairy we do get inspected by the feds and the state department of agriculture trade and consumer protection protecting you from us you the consumer and uh they like to have clean equipment inside and out, so do I. But cleaning that equipment on the outside is a real pain. So I paid George to do it. He did it well. We are getting our federal survey, which is a once every 18 month as I understand it, federal inspection. And they can be quite tough. We're due for that by the end of September, so I fear I'm going to have to hire George once more to go out and clean off that pipeline. But George needs money right now. So hopefully he won't balk at that. To finish out the video, this is what we cut today from the few treetop logs we were able to do. Good amount of two by fours, twelves, tens, one by fours, furring strips. We got one four by four, and then all of these other boards, which I will cut to use as I need them. All twelve footers. We kind of cut our day shorter than I expected because we had to go over to a neighbor's house and see about some standing hay that he wants to sell to us, and you know. 
once a bunch of old farmers stand around in the shade and start talking, the minutes turn into hours. That's what happened. So, uh, yeah, this wood's going to be brushed off, stickered, and stacked on the pile, and then we're going to go in for supper. I don't believe you want to stick around for another half an hour or 45 minutes to watch, so Hank may close this video as he pleases. <laughs> Okay, it just ticked past 8 p.m. and we finally got all of that lumber that we cut today stacked up on this pile with the stickers in between so to help the boards dry out. So summary of what we cut today, I think mostly 12 foot boards if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we cut a bunch of 2x4s and a few 1x4s and then that one 4x4 sitting up on top. And that's all that we're going to do today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>